Hello, I'm Mike Hitmar, Product Marketing Manager at SAS. By now you've heard of the Internet of Things. This is the concept where smart things, devices, machines, meters, bridges, buildings, anything, are connected to each other through the Internet. The Internet of Things is enabling new business opportunities and revolutionizing existing processes. Adoption of this technology is expected to accelerate over the next few years, by most estimates reaching 30 billion smart objects in the next five years. When you consider that each of these things has multiple sensors, the amount of data being generated is enormous. For instance, in energy exploration, an offshore oil rig with all of its pumps, drills, and other equipment, the average platform generates about 8 terabytes of data each day. Or consider a modern jet carrying passengers across continents. It creates about 40 terabytes of data each hour in its flight. With millions of flights daily around the world, that is a staggering amount of data. And of course our cars are getting smarter. More connected with telematics conveniences, and soon they'll be driving themselves. All this capability requires a tremendous amount of data. Google estimates their autonomous car will generate a gigabyte of data every second. That's three and a half terabytes a minute. And these are just a few examples. There's still more data coming from smart homes, smart cities, smart factories, smart grids, and more. But it's just data, not information, not insight, and not adding value. Peter Middleton, a research director at Gartner, said it best in a 2013 research report. The Internet of Things creates a big data problem that analytics must solve. Transform huge volumes of data into small, meaningful, readily synthesized by human mind, quantity of usable and actionable information. It's not just about big data. It's about the big compute, having the right technology and processes in place to enable the analytics to solve the problem. Obviously, cybersecurity, data privacy are critical issues to solve in order to protect your brand and build trust with your customers. Cloud technologies to more quickly react to changes in the market and scale up resource capacity in response to demand. Cheap and scalable data storage solutions like Hadoop are a must. In-memory and in-data analytics processing capabilities are essential in order to get timely answers. And the convergence of other data sources like unstructured web and social media data with IoT data will drive even more insight and value. And of course, mobile and visualization technologies to get the information to the point of decision making. I've talked about the volume of data coming from these connected devices. Another important aspect of IoT data is the velocity. Like in my earlier examples, the data can be generated at an extremely fast rate. We call this streaming data. In many cases, that data needs to be interpreted and acted upon immediately when milliseconds matter in seizing an opportunity. Or when the velocity is so great the computing power or transmission speed cannot keep up, like attempted intrusions on a device or a network, or when presenting the next best offer to a shopper while they are in the shopping experience, or when a device or another thing needs to react to the position or behavior of another device. In these cases, milliseconds do matter, and traditional data movement and analysis processes are too slow. At SAS, we can now deploy our analytic models and perform complex analytical processing virtually anywhere along the data value chain. From the traditional data stores to the in-stream of data coming out of the system, all the way down to the device itself, or as we sometimes say, analytics on the edge where the data is being generated. Deciding where to put the analytic models depends on your goals and, and each requires special consideration. Like I mentioned before, when milliseconds count, analytic models need to be moved all the way to the edge, to the device itself. Typically, basic trending and simple statistics work best in this environment. For instance, a SAS customer is analyzing vibration data on the wheel of a locomotive to detect issues early and avoid breakdowns or even worse. A European telecom provider is using SAS in the data stream. 
They use SaaS technology to filter about 20,000 requests per second, coming from millions of mobile devices. The analytics model finds about 15 priority requests, and users with data plan is about to expire, and presents an offer in real time to extend their data plan. Customers are happy, and with a tenfold increase in offer acceptance, the carrier is very happy. There is still, and always will be, a need for heavy lifting analytics. This is the out of stream, or analytics against a persisted data in a database. This is where truly big compute capability come into play. To execute highly complex mathematical models, perform root cause or what if analysis, and create new analytic models that can be deployed into the stream or all the way down to the vice. These approaches are not independent or mutually exclusive. In fact, analytics are needed in all stages of the IoT ecosystem. You always have to know what the data means. The closer to the edge, the thinner the data, and so analytics can help find data gaps and inform where sensors are needed. Reporting can be done at any stage or all stages, continuous interactive monitoring, dashboards that include historic data, and centralized, drillable command centers. Ultimately, though, it's about creating value, finding your business challenges that were previously unsolvable or perhaps suboptimal. Perhaps there are new services and offerings you wish to create. In order to take value-creating actions, you need analytics to draw insights from the data. Now let's take a look at a few real-world case studies. Global truck manufacturer came to us with this challenge. They wanted to guarantee their long-haul transport customers with 100% uptime. They wanted to see if the telematics data streaming off of some 60 onboard sensors could predict failures before they occur. SAS researchers and engineers went to work and showed we could indeed predict failures up to 30 days in advance. This result will enable the manufacturer ample time to coordinate a service appointment when the truck is not in use with no loss of productive transport time to their end customer. What's more, the depth of data allowed engineers at the truck maker to more precisely define trucks affected by known defect. Armed with this information, they were able to reduce the number of trucks involved in a recall campaign by about 10%. This one instance represents a huge savings in warranty costs. In another example, SAS is working with a U.S. national retailer using iBeacons. iBeacons are an indoor positioning system that connects to a smartphone app. While several scenarios are envisioned, the one I highlight here is an upsell and cross-sell opportunity. When a shopper carrying her smartphone enters the store, the iBeacon device takes note and notifies the system. SAS technology instantly retrieves the shopper's profile. The profile includes obvious demographic information, as well as a history of the shopper's interactions with the store across all channels, online and offline. The system then generates the best personalized offer and sends the shopper a text message. The shopper is near the item, so she puts it in her cart. This kind of experience brings the concept of omnichannel marketing full circle. The Internet of Things promises to revolutionize our world. From consumers to large industrial corporations, it's an exciting time. But now, more than ever, when everything is connected, we need answers. We need the analytics of things. For more information, you can visit sas.com slash IoT. Thank you.